Live at 5 at 4, Nell Denton is here to talk about all of the recent rainfall we've had. Also, a little bug that's bugging folks. Not you. We're always <laughs> thrilled to see you. But let's first talk about this rain. It's just continuing to come down. I think some areas saw maybe three inches earlier today. Yes, and it, we really need the rain. I mean, things were getting kind of dry, and the rain is always good. And this kind of rainfall, I hope no one has had problems from flooding, but uh, this kind of rainfall is really good to saturate the soil again. Um, we need to get the soil saturated good, recharge the groundwater, and it's very helpful for all plants to not have a period that was beginning to tend to pretty dry for most of our area. So why it can be an inconvenience, it's very beneficial. It is beneficial, yes. All right, so let's talk about this bug. It's the woolly hackberry aphid. What's the deal with this? Well, it is an introduced insect. It came from Asia, probably on some nursery stock that was brought over here. Um, it attacks hackberry trees. And in this time of year, you'll see these little white fuzzy things. It actually looks like a flurry of snow sometimes mm -hmm. floating in the air. That's them and they grow wings and that's when they, they fly around looking for a place to lay their eggs. So they're pretty tiny. They're very tiny, very tiny. And they're fuzzy looking white, white to grayish white. Um, they feed on hackberry trees and what they do how people know they have them typically is they make something called honeydew that sticky material that drops down and then a black sooty mold they call it grows in that oh, okay. and you get this black coloring on on everything under the tree okay and so that's usually the biggest problem with them they don't really necessarily hurt the tree very much so you have to treat that tree with something that's systemic, an insecticide. And usually if it's a large tree, it's better to get a professional come out and treat it. And they treat it in the spring and it provides a season long protection to keep the aphids from building up in population. So really nothing you can do right now, just wait nothing, till spring. Nothing you okay. can do is wait till spring. All right, Neil Den, we appreciate you being here.